Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be stamping with the Faithful Flutterings stamp set by Katherine Pooler and a fun announcement that she now has coordinating dies for the stamp set. So as you can see, there are two dies and there are several stamps, but the stamps layer on top of each other. So what you'll actually be cutting out is the larger of the butterfly and the smaller of the butterfly. I'm going to be creating a four bar sized card because I'm going to create this pop-up center butterfly with these dies and I want it to take up a good portion of the card and four bar size cards are smaller than your standard A2 size. They're more for like a thank you card or an RSVP card. So I'm just going to do that size to make it look a little bit bigger when you open it. So for the larger of the butterflies, I'm going to be using the solid butterfly with the other two sort of uh, speckly um, stamps there, and that's just to create some dimension. I'm going to be using Sweet 16, Pixie Dust, and Sugared Lavender respectively. So from lightest to darkest. You always want your top layer to be the darkest and then so on and so forth. I'm using this large rectangle die also by Katherine Pooler and my first stamp is going to be with Sweet 16 since that is my lightest color and then I'll just go ahead and wipe that off with a baby wipe and switch stamps to the slightly more colored speckled or more covered speckled um, butterfly stamp and I'm going to stamp that in pixie dust which is slightly darker than sweet 16 and I will just repeat the process with the final layer of the butterfly stamp and I'll use sugared lavender which is darker than pixie dust now it does come with the body of the butterfly and the die will cut out the entire thing so that the body should be in there as well, but I'm going to be stamping that and cutting it out separately just to add a little something to the card, so I'll show you that in just a minute. So I'm gonna line up the larger of the butterfly dies, and I'll put on some painter's tape just to make sure that it doesn't do any shifting in my die cutting machine. So I'll take that over to my die cutting machine and when I bring it back you can see it cut out beautifully and you can see the middle part there where there should be the body to the butterfly um, but I'll add that in a little bit later like I said. And I'm going to bring my card base back in now and whereas we usually decorate the outside of a card or the card front I'm going to be decorating the inside and making that my focal point. So I'm going to use It's a Boy, which is this light blue color, and I'm going to ink blend that along the top edges or corners and the very top of the card very lightly, and this is to make it look like a fading out sky, sort of. And then I'll use the Lime Ricky color, which is this really vibrant, beautiful green, like summery green color, and I'm going to use that on the bottom in the very same way to make it appear as grass. So I'm making this outside scene on the inside of the card, and then you'll have this beautiful butterfly popping up from the center when you open it. I'm going to use the sentiment on the bottom right, and it's from the Faithful Flutterings stamp set, and it says, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I just love this sentiment. I'm now going to fold my butterfly in half, and I want there to be a very sharp precise fold right in the center there so that I can glue it right to the center fold of my card. The other way that you can do this is to take a pair of scissors, and I'll show you the scissors in just a second, and cut directly down the center where this fold is. And then you take either side of the butterfly and you glue it on just either side of that center fold. I actually decided just to do the fold for the video to see if I had a better result, but Either way worked fine for me. It doesn't seem like one was better than the other. So either way that you decide to do it, maybe try to do it both ways and see which way works best for you. So I'm just going ahead and gluing that right in the center there. And when I push down, I wanna make sure that I flap up those wings so that they don't get glued down 
because you only want the center glued so that when you open the card, you get the nice wings popping up out of the center. And here's where I'm going to take this scrap piece of paper and just stamp the body of the butterfly. And I'm just going to fussy cut this. You could use the die and just cut the wings off, but I just decided just to use my scissors to fussy cut it out. And then I'm just going to glue that right in the center. I would suggest taking a sharp tool or a bone folder if you have a very fine bone folder. And again, just taking that down the center of the body of the butterfly so that it folds with the card. I didn't do that for this particular card and it actually worked out fine. I think it's because the body of the butterfly is so thin and small that it just sort of goes to one side without being able to notice it too much. But if you had a bigger element, you might wanna try to score it right down the center so that it folds. So I'm just making sure that's adhered nicely on there and prepping my wings a little bit to make it look nice and popped up from the center. I'm going to be using these flat sequins to embellish the scene on the inside of the card. I do believe I plan on you leaving the outside of the card completely blank. And that's why I'm adding all of my scenes and uh, embellishments here on the inside. And I'm just doing it in this sort of like fairy dust <laughs> uh, pattern. And I just thought it looked really cool with the butterfly, almost like a trail that the butterfly is leaving. And I'm just using some Tombow Mono Liquid Glue as I have for my butterfly to adhere these sequins. And I have also decided to use the flat sequins, which I showed you there at the beginning, so that when I folded the card, it didn't give too much dimension. I don't want it to be squishing any of the sequins or for the sequins to get moved around when opening and closing the card. So there is the open shot of the card with the nice little wings sticking up and you can see it looks like it's in flight. And because we scored it at the beginning, it's able to stand up without needing to fold it too much so that you can see the beautiful wings coming up from the butterfly in the center. I love this card for spring or for Mother's Day, and I hope that you have enjoyed seeing how simple it was just by using some coordinating dies with the Faithful Fluttering set to create this fun pop-up card. My Instagram, blog, and all of the products used are listed in the description, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.